Right, this is an overview of the Cognex DM 8072V. This is a verifier. This is um, not a scanner. It kind of looks like one, but it actually just does um, quality uh, reports of data matrix and QR codes. It is uh, something that can actually produce a PDF report for archiving. It's um, good to qualify the capabilities of your marking or print system. It comes in two different versions. One is, they look identical, um, one is a USB connected device and one is an Ethernet based device. And I thought I'd go quickly through what those components look like coming out of the box. So <clears throat> the DM70 or 8072V is uh, in this DM8000 series scanner that has LEDs in three different directions, 90, 45, and 30. So you can do verifications at any of those uh, light angles. It also comes with a little plate, a little standoff plate that uh, catches on the bottom and clips on the top. And this keeps your um, uh, the standoff height from the marked surface to the camera focal point uh, at a very set uh, position so that the results are considered valid. Okay, so anyway, that's our that's our, our um, verifier itself. It comes on the handle. It's got two different options, and this is really what distinguishes the difference between the Ethernet and the USB options. When you there are two screws that um, hold this what they call a slide in, inside the handle. And uh, when you buy this from the ID integration, we'll already have it assembled with the cable. But if you were gonna swap it out, there is uh, there are two different types here. There's a USB type and there is an ethernet type. And you can only really tell by looking at the label because the inside is pretty much the same. You'll see that the ethernet one is a little bit deeper in its pocket than the USB one. And so the cable that goes with it, uh, really it's very difficult to mismatch cables and slides. Okay, so we're not gonna do the ethernet one right now. Uh, we'll just put this one back in and we'll continue with showing what the other components on the USB version are. Here's your um, cable and once it's uh, connected in, find the matching pins, stick it in and turn this as you push, turn it a quarter turn, and it'll lock in place. And if you notice on the other end, you'll have a Y cable. You have the USB end that goes to your PC, and you have a power plug here as well. That comes from this brick. Um, so you'll connect that, and you have a power cable that goes to the wall as well. And it takes about almost a full minute to actually power the unit up. And you should not plug it into the PC until two things have happened. One, you've installed the software. That's extremely important because the driver has to be installed before Windows can understand what this thing is. Uh, so install the software first and then power it up until you hear this device go beep beep. And then um, it's safe to go ahead and, and um, put the USB plug into the PC. Last item in the box is a calibration card and you'll use this, I typically use this one, but you can use either one with the settings that are on here. In a different video, we'll go through what all this means. But contents are um, verifier with its faceplate, a calibration card, power brick, and Y cable for the USB. Now, that is the USB. So if I were to do the ethernet one, it looks pretty much the same, except I've got a ethernet slide, and again, two screws that um, are affixed with the wrench that comes in the box. And then you'll have a different cable for that. Remember, it's a little bit longer here. And that goes, you have to match up the ends. Same idea though, push it in, turn it. And now you just have one <clears throat> cable, not a Y cable for power. And you use that with this power over ethernet brick. And again, from ID integration, we go ahead and we add another label here to try to clarify what goes where. So the uh, DM8072V plugs in here, and then this one, you can add a separate um, Ethernet cable. You can use your own patch cable, or you can buy one from these guys as well. And just a normal patch cable plugs in here and then goes to the wall, or router, or switch. So power, again, is provided 
with a USB cable that plugs into the wall and then provides the, I think it's six volt, um, uh, yeah, six volt and like something like uh, three amp or something like that. It's fairly beefy. Anyway, that, that's the difference here between the two. Of the two, I prefer the Ethernet one. Uh, it seems to be easier to configure. And the biggest problem we've had with the USB ones is that they come with a driver that can conflict with uh, some other products that are used in the marking world. Because um, it's kind of a USB virtual com device that then gets mapped to a, an internal IP address. It's kind of a funky driver. Been around for a while, but there's just other companies that do something similar. And if you have two different devices plugged into the same PC, they conflict. So more trouble-free connectivity I'm getting through the, uh, the Ethernet-based one. Okay?